There we go. Sing to Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia. Hopefully I'm still there. What happened? You there, Mr. Coulard. Oh, I'm sorry. My picture just went out on me, but I'm glad I'm still there. Um, <laughs> hopefully everyone's here on, uh, what are we on? Thursday, April 16th. Mm -hmm. so, great day. And for us here at school, it is a mass day. So it's a great day to be uh, here at Immaculate Conception so we can get to do all kinds of things. Uh, Miss Vaughn, if I could start off the day with a little joke. Sure. Why did the cookie go to the hospital? <laughs> I can't even guess. Because she, she felt crummy. Uh -huh. Oh. She felt, <laughs> felt crummy. Well, we don't have any real sports news. Like hopefully you're taking the Sports Raiders Challenge every hour. And now let's turn over to Mrs. Bono with all the important announcements of the day. Hey, hey, good morning, everyone, and hallelujah. Christ is risen. But I'm back in my winter clothes because it's been so cold out. I was showing everyone I even had my, my mug that looked wintry, right? Well, we are happy to be joined this morning by our wonderful Miss Vicki. We miss the aroma of those cinnamon rolls that she makes for us every single Friday. And we just miss her, her love that she gives to the kids. So um, we're taking turns with having various guests on here. And Miss Vicki was happy to oblige. How are you doing, Miss Vicki? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, I have a, a couple things to share with you today. But I thought maybe I'd take a moment and let's hear what Miss Vicki has to say and what, what's new with her as she is staying at home as well. Well, uh, first of all, I want to say, oh, how I missed you guys, everybody. I just miss everybody's little faces and <laughs> their little noisy, noisy bodies running around. I miss it all. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's pretty quiet at my house. Um, my, my cat, Sally, she doesn't, doesn't talk a lot, but... Uh, she does make mischief. So in any case, I just want you to know I love you and I care about you and I hope you're all safe and happy and are eating properly and doing your homework so you get smart. Um, don't forget, um, I just want to say this little silly thing I like to say, to wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. So I hope you have a lovely day do your schoolwork, get outside and get some fresh air. It's a beautiful sunny day today. Mm. And um, know that we all care about you so much and can't wait till we see you again. God bless you all. Thanks, Ms. Vicki. Couldn't agree with you more. It's just perfect, everything you said. Um, and that wash your hands thing, we really, we, we know how to do that well. Yes. We keep, keep doing it. Mm -hmm. um, wanted to let parents Vicky, know. Question about can I ask her a question about the food pickup? Are they still doing that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The food pickup is still on. And, and that's through the Department of Education. So if you are looking for breakfasts and lunches, you can um, show up to the parking lot at 12.05, I believe it is, yes. until 12.25 um, each day, Monday through Friday. This week will be a regular week, and you'll get one breakfast and one lunch each day. Um, if the children cannot come, or you would prefer them not to come, the parent can pick up the meals for the children. Um, and, and just so you know, there are other locations um, in, in all of the school mm -hmm. districts around the Fridley and um, Spring Lake Park, um, Blaine, um, Minneapolis, all of those places. So if you're interested in those things, um, Mrs. Bona sent an email out last week with a schedule and times and stuff. And there's a little link there that you can find out where the closest location is to your home. So be sure you take advantage of that. The city of, or the um, Columbia Heights School District is providing these meals 
um, for us because they are bigger and they have more people to do this kind of thing. So um, you feel free to take advantage of that. Um, it's a good thing to do. So if you have questions, um, I guess, I think I've told you everything. Just look in your emails and find that link from last week. Sure thing. And I can resend that too, Miss Vicki, because there's a few other things I need to send out. So that's a good reminder for all of us. And it's, um, they don't ask you for any identification. They just, they want to make sure that kids are being fed. And so do we. So we're all for that. And that kind of adds to our joy, right? So I yes. have a, a couple things to say about joy this morning, our theme, Jesus, others, you. I was listening to, um, several uh, different masses over this past weekend. And one of the masses that was on television, the priest from um, Edina, Father Finnegan, he had talked about the word joy and he used the terms, just offer yourself and just one yes. So I thought that that was really good to think about with our beautiful theme of joy. So more to think about, just offer yourself. And we do that through our service. A little, another little piece of joy this morning, we just got in our email inbox a nice um, email from Ms. May who was on with us yesterday and she has a little niece that was born early this morning. Mm -hmm. So there's joy in her family. So today's Thursday, like Mr. Coulard said, tomorrow focusing on Friday, every Friday is gonna be a catch up and must do day. Now. <clears throat> Take that advantage, kids, to make sure you're sending emails to your teachers along, you know, have your parents help you um, and ask them, hey, I didn't understand an assignment. I got behind on a couple assignments. How, what do I need to do to catch up? And just ask those clarifying questions. Tomorrow's the perfect day to do that. No new assignments will be posted. But I also want to just remind people that there are things for you to do on the Spanish web page for any level of Spanish and music. Don't forget about music. We, Mr. Coulard reminded you of the Raider challenge and then there's also computer classes. We don't have that for you to get nervous. We just know that you need that variety and that's what you're used to having in a school day. So we wanna give you all those opportunities. Um, <clears throat> And before Mr. Coulard closes with anything else, we still have our eighth grader prayers. So I'm going to read all of them that were turned in. And today, again, um, an eighth grade prayer to ask God for deliverance from the coronavirus. This one is by Lauren. Oh God, we are grateful for the lives that we have. Please help those who are suffering from the coronavirus so that they can recover quickly and live peaceful lives. For all those who now have no jobs because of this pandemic, that they may find ways to support their families and, and relieve financial problems. And for those who do not have a home or food, that they may find a safe place and be healthy. Amen. Yeah. And be beautiful job, Lauren. Um, we were grateful for those prayers. Thank you. Mr. Coulard. All right. Well, we could send, end up with our little glory be here, but we want to pray for a priest each day. So today on Thursday, April 16th, this is for Father Tony O'Neill. So if you could keep him in your prayers today. Also, always we'd like to pray for Father James Peterson and Father uh, John Mitchell, who used to be the pastor. And also remember to go online tonight and go to Mass. Today is School Mass Day. And like we talked about, uh, Father Peterson has it online. So you, all you have to do is go to YouTube and sure you can find it. So, Actually, um, Mr. Coulard, it's right on our web page under resources, right underneath yep. the teacher web pages. And um, I already went went to mass. <laughs> and uh, students, this will um, entice you. His homily, he weaves in a little story about Scooby-Doo. So something to go. look forward to. As soon as we say goodbye here, that's my next job is to go to mass. Right. So, awesome. Yeah. If you want to join us in the name of the Father. Oh, wait, well, I'm sorry. Before we do that, we should probably do our Pledge of Allegiance. Sure. I forgot that again. Let's start that one first. We have our flag here. So let's go with that first. I pledge allegiance, allegiance. to the flag, to the flag of the United States, States of America 
and to and the to republic, republic for which it stands, stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. Now, if you join us in prayer in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Glory be to the Father and to the, the Son and to and the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without world. end. Amen. amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. amen. So may we remember to, uh, we forgot this yesterday, Mrs. Bond, I'm blaming you, but we forgot to say, go Raiders. Raiders. I think that was because we wanted to hit our song. There we go. Let's, hallelujah, and let's have a great octave. So because right. we're still in the octave of Easter. Hey, thanks, Mr. Florida. Hey, before we sign off, I wanted Miss Vicky to show what it says above her door in her kitchen. Let's see if we can show that. Oh, almost there. Kiss the cook. We love it. That's right. There you Hallelujah. Go. Thanks, everyone. Have a Thank great you. day. You too. There we go. Okay.